Here is the uh, Epson 5040UB projector. Last night it stopped working. Basically, the, it turns on, then the blue light starts to blink and try to start up. And uh, it seems like uh, the bulb is bad, but anyhow, the orange light on the lamp uh, steadily um, turn up and then the blue light just flash. So let's try to see what happened with the uh, lamp. So this is the lamp cover. There's a screw here. You can unscrew it and then you can push it out a little bit and you can take it out. So inside is a lamp, two screws, hold it so you can unscrew it until you hear a kind of uh, stop. Again, unscrew the other one, same thing. Now you can pull it out. So this is a kind of a common problem. Um, there's two possible reasons. One is the uh, the power board, so inside, right? Um, if that's a problem, then it's hard to fix. Another possibility is the lamp itself. Um, I think those two problems are related to each other because um, the bad lamp tend to uh, break the uh, power board. <coughs> Let's Take a look at my lamp first and see if we can fix the problem. To test the lamp, one thing we can do is um, to use a multimeter, digital multimeter. Um, measure the resistance of the lamp, the two pins of the lamp, right? Uh, a good lamp is supposed to be open circuit because it re requires pulse voltage to excite the gas inside. So again, one way to tell it is uh, measure the resistance, right? Use a multimeter. So I'm clamping it. The contact's not very good, but you can see it's very much a short circuit. This is the problem. I believe it's a kind of a deposition between the electrode, make it short. A good projector lens, it should be actually open circuit. And um, when you have a high voltage applied to it, it excites the, the, the vapor inside, the metal vapor inside to make, uh, to excite the light. So that's how it works. So if it's short, then this lamp definitely is no good. You can either ch choose to replace by a new lamp, or for me, I would try whether I can say, um, make that deposit kind of short because this short should be a very weak short. So let's see if we knock on the body whether we can make it kind of open. Let's see, you see the electrode here? Mm. So you see these are the two wires coming out here, right? And then the wires go into the lamp. So the lamp has um, two leads. One is going to the other end and this is the lead to the back end. And then there's a control wire here. So excite the, the gas. Anyway, um, we can give it a measure again. I'm not sure it's so, but I will just uh, do something like this. See if I can make it open because there's a very weak short you might be able to do something. At least save me a few days when I order a new lamp, waiting for the new lamp. I can still have a projector you to use. Okay, come back. See what's the resistance. If it doesn't work, then we might think just to wait. This is just a kind of a give a try thing. It may or may not work at all. Wow, you see? It's actually become 
Infinite. Wow. I think I recovered. So later on, I will plug it back in and see whether <laughs> I fix the lamp. This is nice. See if I can fix the lamp. I think uh, at least save you some hours because my lamp is only about 300 some hours, less than 400 hours. So, okay, let me give it a try. It seems to be good now. This doll is the reverse, so you just align it carefully and drop it in. It should self align to this slot, and you can push a little bit to make sure it's seated well. You hear kind of a click kind of thing. And then you tie up these screws. Now you can put back this thing again halfway and then push it in and tighten the screw. Okay, I need to put my power cable back on. Plug the power cable in. Let's give it a try. So you see the power light is meaning the cable is connected. Let's give it a try. Cross finger. Now blue light blinking means it's turning on. So the lens windows open up. Okay, nice. You see the light coming out. That's the good thing. Because originally when the lamp was bad, there's no light here. And this thing will just stop automatically and the door, the lens door will close and make a lot, very loud uh, fan noise. And then this orange lamp light will turn on. So now I think we are in normal operation. So I think I need to congratulate, congratulation to myself. So it's generate the light, the projecting, it's just projecting something to the wall, let me, because it's daytime, it's hard to see any information, but let me pull up manual. You can, you can vaguely see the, the uh, manual here, so everything works fine. Anyway, um, hope this helped you, and if you have similar problem, uh, my projector is a um, Epson 5040 UB, but I think fundamentally this thing should work for 50, 50B uh, UB or maybe the early generation 5030 or 5020 or even 5010. You can give it a try as long as they use similar kind of a body cases, the internal control should be similar and the way the failure should be similar as well. Okay, thank you, good luck.